Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Mark Ho. <laughs> Basically, what I'm going to do is actually show you a quick overview of some of the videos that you've been seeing on the Warzone Boxing Club's program, War Dogs Boxing. What you've been seeing is me post on Facebook, see me paste, posting on uh, Instagram, and possibly my Twitter if you're following is our training cycles and actually our training days. Some of it, not all of it, but a quick overview of what we've been doing from day one all the way until our fight that's gonna happen on October 19th, which is gonna be the debut of our team. And also, there's gonna be other local fighters from the Warzone Boxing Club gonna be fighting there also, so make sure you check that out. Once again, that's October 19th. So first off, let me give you a brief history of the Warzone Boxing Club and uh, how I've been affiliated with it. Back in 2007, I got out of the Marine Corps, hopped through so many boxing gyms. Uh, I was on the all Marine boxing team, got out in 2007, used to live over there in Corona. So I went to a boxing club over there called LA Boxing. Pretty good gym. I actually went to Azusa Youth Boxing Gym over there in Azusa also, going back and forth. But you know, the driving was just a little too much and um, the hours didn't quite work out. So I found myself frequently moving around and you know, one day I just moved cl closer to over here in Ratchet Cucamonga and I found this excellent gym. Gave them a call and I met the coach, Al Franco, and uh, right from the bat I noticed that he was a very supportive person of the military. One of the reasons he's so supportive of today's military is actually his father, Benito M. Franco, served in the military himself. He's a World War II veteran who served in the Marine Corps from World War II, uh, Korean era, and the end of the Vietnam era. And his son, Nick Franco, is actually active duty right now in the United States Army. One of the ways that Warzone Boxing Club supports our veterans and active duty is actually by providing free access to all its whole facility. Whether you want to just go over there and hit the bags or hit the treadmill or, you know, shadow box in the ring, you know, the gym's open for you to go there and work out. Uh, they've been doing this since, pretty much since I've been going there, um, but they've really been kind of letting the public know recently uh, as they created the War Dogs Boxing Team. Now a little bit about the team, the War Dogs, and uh, its members is one of the main reasons we're doing this for is to build some kind of a camaraderie. It's to build camar camaraderie between us because being in the military, that's what's built. You build, uh, you, your confidence level's up here, you got missions to do, you got something that you're, you're uh, always setting goals for yourself, and you got, you got a purpose. Now when you get out of the military, you still have that purpose, but it's kind of like, you know, here or there. So um, one of the things that helped build that the War Dogs boxing team in this program helps build is that camaraderie again. And then a lot of us, like myself, for instance, I gained a lot of weight when I got out. That's one of my main focuses on right now is to get to my weight, my fighting weight, and uh, build that confidence level up. Um, that competitiveness that you have in the military, it actually shows in the War Dogs boxing team. I mean, we're out there helping each other out. We're doing uh, workouts together and uh, we're having a good time all around. And the main focus of the videos and why we're why doing this is actually show you guys that it's not some crazy hardcore boxing training that nobody could do. You know, even though Coach Al Franco is providing us with this top notch training, it's like something that we're starting from day one. Uh, I'm the only one pretty much with any kind of experience boxing in this club. Everybody else is starting from day one. They're learning how to do the correct stances and we're all building each other up along the way, you know, correct stance, how, why we do certain things, like why um, certain combinations that you're learning, everything's being brought up from day one. And it shows you, the viewers, that, you know, we're actually progressing. We're actually getting better to what you've been seeing. Um, hopefully, uh, throughout the whole video process and the whole program itself, you'll see us succeeding and being successful. So thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully this video gave you a little insight of the other videos I've been doing. And once again, I want to emphasize that, you know, none of this is really scripted. This is all real people doing real things. You know, it's on the fly. It's going to be uh, some of the things that you're going to see are going to be kind of off the wall. Some of it not, you know, but it's real. And a um, little bit on the side note, I wanted to give a shout out to, you know, uh, Daniel Twitch Frackle who's going to be fighting in a couple days on September 20th over there in Montebello at the Quiet Canyon. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be an awesome fight. I was at his last fight with uh, Sandoval and it was an excellent fight. He won by knockout. So uh, once again, it's going to be 
September 20th um, over there in a quiet canyon Montebello. Till then, stay focused. This is the war zone. This is what it's all about. Check back in a couple weeks to see where we're at in our training. Till then, stay focused.